YouTube. My name is Mesa Sean, and we are back here on Destiny 2. All right, folks, welcome to the weekly reset video for the week of March 19th. I make these every Tuesday, so if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Before we get into all the activities to do within Destiny 2 for this week, download your hotfix. There is a hotfix, 2.2.0.2, and I will link the full hotfix in the uh, description as well as in the pinned comment. Not a whole lot of big changes, but worth giving it a read. Let's get into the weekly reset. For the Nightfalls this week, we have Strange Terrain. As always, it feels like Strange Terrain is a Nightfall every week. All right, we have the Arms Dealer. We have not had this one as a Nightfall in a long time. Uh, and then we have Will of the Thousands. In terms of the Nightfall Strike exclusive loot, Strange Terrain is going to have a rocket launcher called the Braytech Osprey, which is like the sins of the past from the Leviathan Raid with a little more velocity. Arms Dealer, you have a uh, exotic sparrow called the Tilt Fuse, and the Will of the Thousands, you have a uh, Transmat effect. So, if you get over a 100k score, you will get powerful gear. If you just complete it, you will get powerful gear. Alright, moving on to the Vanguard Strikes and also the Daily Heroic Story Missions. The modifier this week is Arc. So, use your Arc subclasses as well as use your Arc weapons. These two modifiers will change daily. Today we have Grounded and we have Grenadier. So, to get some powerful gear, do three daily story missions. And for strikes, complete your daily uh, strike. And then also do three strikes, but make sure you're using the same light element as one of your team members. So, whenever you fly in, if you're flying in with randoms, make sure to check what subclass they are using. The flashpoint this week is over on the European Dead Zone. So, you want to do public events you want to do your heroic adventure here your daily heroic adventure that is that will give you about 30 35 percent towards your total flashpoint but do public events do a few lost sectors if you want but the european dead zone is always full of public events once you reach 100 percent go back and see devram k and he will have nightfall tier rewards for you if you were looking for any of the Icolos weapons from mars or from escalation protocol this is the week where you can get your Icolos shotgun which even though it took a nerf it's still a pretty good shotgun when you kill the boss this week from escalation protocol uh, the only weapon that can drop will be the shotgun and you could farm that boss over and over and over you do not have to open up the final chest just kill the boss over and over and you will have a shot at getting the Icolo shotgun moving on to gambit and the reckoning now gambit prime we have a new map this week they added legion's folly to the pool of maps for Gambit Prime. So hopefully you're quite familiar with that map because it's been around with regular Gambit for a while now. So complete four Prime matches, you will get some powerful gear. And we've got our usual regular Gambit uh, bounties right here that will give you powerful gear. But before you do these, make sure to go see the Drifter. We're gonna go see him in a little bit here, but he's got a weekly bounty that you wanna grab for regular Gambit that will give you some powerful gear. Uh, looking at the Reckoning, you need to progress to 100 to get some powerful gear, but let's see what the modifiers are. All right, so we have Arc Singe for the week. Now, that will stay the entire week. It will be Arc Singe. Today, we have Blackout and we have Heavyweight. In the Crucible this week, we have Lockdown for the weekly game mode to play. Uh, seize at least two zones to make capture progress. Control all three for a Lockdown to win the round early. And as usual, complete five matches, you will get some powerful gear. Pet Revenge is always a great source for powerful gear. You've got a story mission, Broken Courier. You've got your War for the Dreaming City, where you just simply complete bounties. You've got your Ascendant Challenge, and you've got your Gateway Between Worlds. If you're new to Destiny 2, Pet Revenge is located on the east side. Simply put a marker on her and use your Sparrow from the landing zone. Now for that Ascendant Challenge, it is located here over at the Bay of Drowned Wishes. You simply go to the Bay of Drowned Wishes Lost Sector, you pop your Tincture of Queen's Foil before you enter it, and right before you're about to go in to kill the boss, or the area where you would kill the boss for the Lost Sector, there will be a big portal. Jump into the portal. This week's a pretty fun one, except you have to be careful not to fall to your death. I have done a video on this, and I will link it in the description or in the pinned comment. It's an Ascendant Challenge where you're dropping down and down and down and down, and you gotta watch out, because you will fall, and if you fall and you die, you will spawn outside and have to do it all over again. When you make it all the way to the bottom, there's a boss fight, and then you, um, once you complete the Ascendant Challenge, open up the chest, you have a chance at getting an exotic and also some powerful gear. Ada won this week in terms of her powerful weapon frames. Uh, she's got the sniper rifle, she's got the sword frame, and she's got the auto rifle frame. 
when is she going to sell the machine gun frame? Oh my goodness. I see that a lot in my comment section every week when I make these videos. Is Yeah, she has not brought the machine gun frame in a long time. Anyway, to grab these, you need a ballistics log. And to get that ballistics log or a ballistic log, you need to complete one of these two weekly bounties right here. Make sure to go see the Drifter. If you're just coming back to Destiny 2, these bounties will get you to 640 power within about an hour, hour and a half. These bounties right here, these will upgrade your synthesizer uh, depending on what kind of gear set you want to get. So just grab whichever bounties tickle your fancy. These bounties right here are all for regular Gambit, and this is that Gambit uh, bounty that I told you about before, which is a weekly bounty that will give you powerful gear by playing a regular Gambit. And then lastly, checking in with Tess Everest, looks like she has some new bundles here, and these have some legendary ornaments. Now, first off, these you buy with uh, silver, which is real money right here. This stuff you can buy all with bright dust. So this bundle right here, you get a uh, Notorious Engram, and you get the ornament for the Outlast. Uh, this one right here, and that's, uh, let's see, 500 uh, silver. This one here is also 500 silver. And this one, you get the legendary ornament for the Gnawing Hunger, and you get yourself a Notorious Engram. Uh, this was here last time. We got the Forward Scout Bundle, and that's that ship that I said looks like from one of the Star Wars prequels. And a few of you guys said, wait, was he ragging on the Star Wars prequels? You know what, guys? To be frank, what Disney did to Star Wars, and I am a Star Wars junkie. You have no idea. Uh, the prequels are looking pretty good right now. All right, looking at the rest of the stuff that she has for sale, let's see if she's got anything cool. What is this thing? The Praxic Finery. Probably saying that wrong. All right, that's a beast-looking sparrow. I like it. I might have to buy it. How much, how much bright dust is that? 2,500? I've got enough for it. All right, we got another sparrow. We got a couple of ugly little ships. We got a ghost shell. We've got a ghost project, a moat projection. You know what? I'm going to grab that because that probably looks cool. All right, we've got the ornament for the dragon's shadow. I have that already. Uh, we've got an exotic ornament for the rat king. So if that's your thing. Um, we've got an ornament for, hold on, what weapon is this? The Night Watch, okay? Let's see. That looks pretty cool. Wow, yeah, that looks really cool. I don't have any of the Gambit weapons. <laughs> Not one. I've had horrible RNG. Um, and that is pretty much it. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, uh, when you're out and about, um, let me scroll back here, okay? Go to Ikora Ray. When you've completed 20 bounties, she will give you some powerful gear. And when you complete 5,000 XP for your clan, uh, Soraya Hawthorne will, will also give you some powerful gear. And um, I mention that because these ever um, these Eververse bounties, they also count towards those 20 bounties that you do for um, Ikora Ray. So that is it for the video, guys. Leave me a hashtag, made it to the end, and we're in round two of Scuff Madness. You guys crushed it last year. We beat out a 1 million sub channel. And then uh, this year, well, I'm sorry, we made it to round two last year, beating out a 1 million sub channel. And then... This year, we beat a Call of Duty MLG Pro Player, and right now, we are in round two up against a um, Optic Teep or Optic TP or something. Optic Teep, I think it's called, but his code is TP or something. So if you need anything from the store, a um, from scuffgaming.com, a new controller, some new sticks, uh, a new shirt, keychain, anything you want, uh, use promo code MESAARMY, and you will get a discount. So that's it, guys. Sorry for the shameless plug, and that is it. So do me a favor. Drop a like in this video. Only if you see fit, follow me on the Twitter at Mesa Sean. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.